live special presentation of Retro Sports Network, home of the champions of the past, present, and or future. And happy Thanksgiving Eve if you're watching on Twitch or Thanksgiving if you're watching on YouTube. My name is Ron Jacket. Welcome to the program and birthday week continues with my other favorite team. Yes, you all know about the Red Sox and we played the 86 Red Sox yesterday. Today we play, I, I just have a special affinity for the Washington Nationals. I covered them from the end of the 2016 regular season through the beginning part of the 2018 season. And if the job had paid a little bit better, um, I would have continued to cover them for a while, but you shouldn't be doing part-time work for $20 a week. Anyway, uh, so this, this is one of my favorite teams, the 2017 Washington Nationals. And we're going to have some fun with this. And so I, trying to give them a game they could win. They're going to face Jake DeGrom and the Mets. This was the team that lost in uh, the Nationals, were the team that lost to the Cubs in five games in the 2018 NLDS. They cruised through the National League uh, Eastern Division. In fact, I think they won 97 games or something like that. And that's even with Bryce Harper missing a bunch of time because of he slipped on a wet bag at first. It wasn't a shopping bag. It was an actual first base bag. I was live covering that game on uh, Twitter. Oh, my goodness. That was just a colossal mess up. But this was, again, a very good team to cover, a very fun team to cover. It was Dusty Baker, uh, his last year before getting a hold of the Astros this past season, and a team that, frankly, should have gone further. I'm not sure if they would have won the World Series. That was the year the Astros won. And the Nats bullpen was uh, some kind of awful the first half of the season, and yet they still won 97 games. So a team I remember very, very fondly, and they had the pleasure of working with Ricky Keeler as my mentor with that team, and Drew Douglas became the associate editor after the season was over along with me. And so let's do this. It's the Nats and the Mets. I scheduled them for the 4th of July, 2017. That's my wife's birthday. Remember, my birthday is Thanksgiving Day. So we really are the all-American family. This should be a fun one, boys and girls. And so let's enjoy it. It's the Nats and the Mets. Next! Hi, Robbie. How are you? Good to have you along. I saw that you had refollowed. Thank you so much. Did I cut myself off here? In my streaming? Yes. Okay. And Robbie, by the way, is in orange tonight. All right. Nets, Nets and Mets from a hot and sticky Nationals Park. And I always m will maintain that this park is a gem. It's not a retro park. It kind of looks like a retro park, but it really isn't. Nice access from left field. Uh, it, it looks like an original modern ballpark. Anyway, 92 degrees, winds blowing in from 11 in from center field. This would have been an 11 a.m. game in real life. And so let's meet the teams. Max Scherzer, the immaculate one, is on the mound for the Nats. He went 16 and uh, six in 2017 with a 2.51 ERA. He threw 202 thirds innings, and that's with two games getting balls shattered off his leg. This man is just is just a baller. 126 hits, 22 homers. He walked 55, struck out 268. A whip of 9.02 and an at league against average of 178. He won the Cy Young. It was his third of his career, and I'm telling you, I think he's going to Cooperstown. He is 33 in 2017. Fastball tops out at 92. He threw it harder than that. He grunted all the way through it. And as a fly ball plus 
pitcher. All right. Well, that's good. Thanks for coming on. Now I got the clock running in there. It, it wasn't before. On my Twitch screen, I have a clock that tells me how long I've been streaming and whether the stream is healthy and how many viewers. I had viewers, but I wasn't seeing a bit rate or or a clock. I am now. Line up he'll face. Michael Conforto leads off in center field. Cabrera, and I forget which one, is at short. He'll bat second. Jonas Cespedes, for the rest of us, is in left. He'll hit third. Jay Bruce in right will clean up. Duda, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the wrong name, so I'm not going to do it. Lucas, it's Lucas Duda, is at first. He'll bat fifth. Walker at second, well, goes sixth. Jose Reyes at third, will bat seventh. Travis Darno. Man, if he could have hit, he'd have been a very good catcher. He's behind the plate, and Jake DeGrom is on the hill for the Mets. He should throw 115. Thanks. That was Those were fun to do. We did digital advice. We talked about Black Friday sales, and Robbie pointed out that uh, the park baseball is now 50% off, too. This is Howie Kendrick is a 6 and a 2 and left. Michael A. Taylor is in center. He's an 8 and an 8. Bryce Harper, a 7 and an 8 and right. His last year with the Nets. My favorite Washington National, Anthony Rendon, is a 7 at 3rd. The Tracicle, Trey Turner, is a 6 at short. Daniel Murphy somehow got a 6 at 2nd base. Okay. And Ryan Zimmerman's is a three at first. That's about right. Matt Weeters is a six and a five behind the plate. And Scherzer is a six on the mound with a 947 fielding percentage. We'll have football for you tomorrow night at eight. And in fact, we won't even be up against the Thanksgiving night game. It'll be the 1993 Miami Dolphins and Dallas Cowboys. And Leon let mess up again. Let's hope so. Conforto at 279, 27 homers and 68 RBI. A gamer. Wish we had a picture of him, but he really is a gamer. Mets went 70 and 90 for Terry Collins. They were expected to be the Nats' closest rival. Ended up being the Braves. Just one of those dirt dog teams. Pitch to Conforto. Struck him out. He got him on a 1-2 change at 86. And that's how this one starts. As Dribble Cabrera. Oh, what do you do for work, Robbie? Working on Thanksgiving night, huh? At 280, as Dribble is, 14 homers and 59 RBI. Scherzer kicks and fires, and there's a fly ball to right. Harper is there. Two out for Yanis Cespedes. Who looked good in, in the pinstripes and always would wear green wristbands and casts. 2.92 the average, 17 homers in 42 RBI. When he did play, his OPS was pretty good at 8.92. Scherzer deals in the center. Mr. Taylor. Ha nope, it popped up. Turner is there. And that will retire the side. The Mets go in order. As they should. We go to the bottom of the first. The Mets nothing. Here come the Nats. Jake DeGrom. 15 and 10 for the Mets in 17. A 3 5 3 ERA. 200 and a third, 201 in the third innings, 180 hits, 28 home runs. He walked 59 and struck out 239. A whip of 1-1, one, 8-7. One, Rookie of the year in 2014. He is 29 and 17. He throws the fastball at 95 and is a ground ball pitcher. Robbie works for parking at the new ballpark for the Rangers. Still have events. Well, hopefully the weather's nice for you tomorrow night. Trey Turner leads off for the Nats at short. Howie Kendrick will play left and bat second. 
Bryce Harper and Wright will hit third. Anthony Rendon will play third and clean up. Daniel Murphy it will bat second and or will bat fifth and play second. Ryan Zimmerman, the first true Washington National, will bat place first and bat sixth. Michael A. Taylor in center will bat seventh. Matt Weeders, who should have done much better for what they paid for him, will catch and bat eighth. And Max Scherzer, who threw ten pitches, in the first will bat ninth. Yeah, I'm glad you're having events too. Defensively for the Mets, Cespedes at eight and ten in left. Conforto a five and a four in center. Jay Bruce a seven and a seven in right. Jose Reyes is a four at third. As Dribble Cabrera is a six at short. It's Neil Walker who replaced Daniel Murphy for the Mets as a six at second. Second and Lucas Duda is a six at first. Travis Darno is a six with a one arm. Goodness gracious, St. Marie and Jacob de Brom. DeGrom is a 7 on the mound with a 969 fielding percentage. Turner, 284, 11 homers in 45 RBI. And if, if this was a stealing era, he'd have 100. He stole 46 as it is. He was lightning fast. His first full year in the bigs, people forget that he was a center fielder when he came up. Because of Espinosa playing short. And so Turner went back to his natural infield position when he started his first full year in 17. Pitch from DeGrom is a ground ball to Reyes over to Duda. And Turner's got speed to burn, and he's on. So the throw pulls him off the bag. And that's an E5. Reyes has a fielding percentage of 939 and that'll bring up Howie Kendrick. Howie came over from the Phillies in July and of course would play a huge role when they won the World Series in 2019. He hit 293 in limited duty for the Nats. Seven homers and 25 RBI and you bet Turner's going to steal. Darno's throw to Walker not in time and Turner's in there easily. So runner on second, a one strike count to number four. Mr. Kendrick. DeGrom from the stretch to short. Cabrera goes back and they get Turner caught off a second. He tagged him and threw to first and got Kendrick. So Cabrera, who was at one point a very good defense with second or shortstop. Turns the double play, 6-3. So Turner, off the bag, got a quick tag and the throw to Duda. To Duda. Got it, man. I'm the, 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 the. First day with that new tongue. Telling you, old age will do that. Here's Harper without the beard. 319, 29 homers, 87 RBI. And when he wasn't chasing pitches outside of the zone, he could hit. Pitch to Bryce is a ground ball to first. Duda to the bag, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, the air, and the cut. And that'll do it after one. It's the Mets nothing, the Nats nothing. So former Red Jay Bruce will lead off the second. Jay at 256. 29 homers and 75 RBI. Robbie was playing some action PC football. Replay of the 88 NFC Championship game, the Bears and 49ers. Dicka trying to win one on the road. Pitch to Bruce is a fly ball to right. Harper, one out. Lucas Duda got it right. 246, 17 homers and 37 RBI. So far, an easy outing for Scherzer. Got him. An 0-2 on the inside part of the plate. A fastball at 93, and there's two out. For Neil Walker, you should never take your picture right after a blink. 
264, 10 homers, and 36 RBI. So Scherzer cooking with gas. Five up, five down. Make it six. He got him. Got him on an inside corner at the knees on an 0-2. And Scherzer is at 18 pitches through two innings and three strikeouts. Mets go in order. No runs, no hits, and no errors. After an inning and a half, it's the Mets nothing, the Nationals nothing. So, as I said in the open, this is my favorite Washington National. Anthony Rendon. A, a great player. 301, 25 homers, and 100 RBI. In fact, in late April, he had a game against the Mets where he drove in 10. But just was very silent. He let Harper be the star. He let Scherzer run the clubhouse. Jason Wirth normally would be in left field. Wirth was hurt a lot in 2017 as well. But Rendon, I just liked him. In fact, he's the only player jersey I have from the Nats. Got a number of Nats jerseys. Should have worn one tonight, but Rendon is the one that I have. And I wish him nothing but su continued success with the Angels. Pitch to Rendon is a fly ball to left. Cespedes, one out. Brings up Daniel Murphy. Daniel would have won the batting title if he hadn't hurt his butt. 322, 23 homers, 93 RBI. Just consistent up and down the lineup. Murphy would have won the batting title his first year. If he had enough at-bats, they kept saying it was a hamstring. It was his gluteus maximus that he heard. Mr. Keeler and I got a good chuckle out of that. Pitch to Murph is a fly ball to right. That's going to drop in. Bruce will pick it up, and there goes the no-hitter. Brings up Ryan Zimmerman, 303 after all those years of injuries. Zimmerman had a year for the ages. Hit 36 home runs and drove in 108. And scored 90, which is pretty good when you're hitting as low as 6 in the lineup. Murph won't steal. Here's a base hit into right field. Murphy will go to third. Zimmerman will hold it second. Murphy will round third. But will not score. And with, two, with one out... The Nats have two in scoring position for Mr. March, Michael A. Taylor. Who hit 271. He really thrived in 17. Because of the injury to Adam Eaton, he got a regular shot in the outfield. Although he struck out way too often, Dusty Baker took him under his wing and he, he really played well. Hit 271. 19 homers and 53 RBI. I christened him Mr. March that spring because he had a tendency of walking off spring training games. Now, it's great that you can hit a homer in the ninth of a game that doesn't mean anything. But he'd get into the season and he would uh, he would swing at everything. Pitch to Taylor. There's a liner to center. Conforto will have it. Throws to second, and everyone will hold two out. Here's Matt Wieters. Ten and a half million dollars to hit 225, 10 homers, and 52 RBI. DeGrom trying to get out of the second. Runners on first or second and third. Got him. 2-2, two, two, just below the belt. No runs, two hits, and no errors. DeGrom will strand two. After two, no score. So Jose Reyes whose second stint with the Mets. Travis Darno and DeGrom here in the third. Reyes at 246. 15 homers and 58 RBI. Yeah, I like payoff pitch. I wish there was an Excel helper or PC version. And the seasons are very cheap, one of the sales. I love that Dave was able to round the corners on those cards. They just look so sharp. 
but you gotta do them one at a time. Pitch to Reyes, ball four. So a leadoff walk for his base runner. Here's Darno, 244. 16 homers, 57 RBI. Scherzer from the stretch. Struck him out. That's four. So one, two, breaking ball on the inside corner. He wanted fastball and got a breaking ball. And Scherzer grunts and struts around the mound. Zimmerman and Rendon will play for the bunt. DeGrom, when he does hit, 2-11, a homer and 4 RBI. Throw to first, Reyes is back. He did, they looked absolutely perfect, Robbie. They looked like Apple cards. And they're his cards. He can put logos on them if he wants. He just looked very sharp. Pitch to DeGrom is fouled back behind the plate, and the count goes to 0-2. So Scherzer, again. Brown ball to Rendon. He'll go for the shore out at first, and DeGrom is retired. So Reyes moves the second two out. Conforto struck out his first time up. 31 pitches for the immaculate one. Through nine batters, two and two-thirds innings, a walk and four strikeouts. Ball four. Full count. Scherzer rolls his eyes. Second walk. Here's Cabrera, who's 0 for 1. No score. Top the third. Two out. Don't normally go on a Wednesday night at 8. We will do tomorrow night for football. Got him. He swung on and missed a 1 2 off speed pitch. And that will retire the side. The Mets strand 2. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the third inning. It's the Mets and Nationals scoreless in D.C. So Scherzer, 161, a homer, and 5 RBI. Turner and Kendrick to follow. Pitch from DeGrom is a fly ball left center field. Conforto has it, one out. So Turner reached on the Reyes error and stole second. His first time up to Grom. 32 pitches for his first nine. Two in the third innings, two hits, and just the one strikeout. Weeders with runners in scoring position. If I had hair left to pull out, that's exactly how it would go. That's a Washington Nationals rally in a nutshell. Pitch to Turner. Struck him out. DeGrom got him to chase a 96-mile-an-hour fastball, and that's the second for Jacob. Here's Kendrick, who's 0 for 1. Now 94 degrees here in the nation's capital. Can almost boil eggs that way. Wind blowing in from left center at 11. Ball four. So the first walk from DeGrom. And here is Harper. I don't know what he'll do for big announcements this year. Um, the basketball game is the one that's gonna that got the biggest upgrade. Usually just one of the games of the five get it. And the chalkboard and basketball will be the case. Uh, haven't heard. I've not heard what he plans to do with it. We'll do 1949 as the season, and we may start it before the first of the year. I know people are itching for me to do more baseball. So Kendrick on first, two out. Pitched off, or throw to first, he's back. Not going to steal. You don't want to take the bat out of Harper's hands. Got away from Darno, and Kendrick will hold. So no wild pitch. And the count is full. Harper walked 68 times and struck out 99. DeGrom's payoff pitch. Ground ball to Duda, who makes a fantastic stop. Takes it to the bag himself, and that will retire the side. The Nats leave a runner on. 
And that'll do it. Nothing across. We go to the fourth. No score. So Cespedes, Bruce, and Duda to face Scherzer here in the fourth. Scherzer has struck out five through three. Cespedes is 0 for 1. Line drive to Rendon, one out. As I said in the show today, Bruce is 0 for 1. PC basket, replay basketball is what I'm going to get. Yeah, the, the basketball game is just fantastic. And I still think you can do the fictional stuff, Robbie. I know you're a big fan of that. Pitch to Bruce. Struck him out. 0-2 fastball in the outside corner at 95. And that's 6 for Max. And here's Duda. Lucas is 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. Up the middle, Murph behind the bag over to Zimmerman, and Ryan will stay on the bag, and the Mets go down in order. No runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the bottom of the fourth. No score. It's one of the few teams I've ever played on this channel, the Nats, but actually played after this channel started. We don't do a lot of modern replays. I suppose the World Cup one qualifies from 2010. Anthony Rendon is 0 for 1. Daniel Murphy and Ryan Zimmerman to follow. In the left, back goes Cespedes, one out. Looked good off the bat, but it got caught in the wind. And so it stays in the yard. Murph singled his first time up. Tribe fan, happy Thanksgiving Eve to you as well. You get a four-day weekend, my friend? Pitch to Murphy. There's a slow roar to Duda. Over to DeGrom, and that is two out. Yeah, the Olympics. I'm looking forward to seeing if he actually releases 72. Tribe fan just finished his um, 2018 Colorado Rockies replay. So... If you're on YouTube, as most of you will be when you watch this, give that a follow. Here's Zimmerman. Ryan doubled his first time up. First player drafted by the Washington Nationals, and they rushed him up. And just a classy, classy guy. One of my favorites. Ball four. So high and inside for Michael A., Two out, he's 0 for 1. Zimmerman's not going to steal here. Pitch, and there's a fly ball left field. Cespedes is there, and that will retire the side. So, no runs, no hits, no errors. We go to the fifth, there's no score, but you notice in that H column for the Mets, there's a bagel. Tribe fan is looking forward to having a long weekend. I bet you are. Stack compiling is a priority over this time out. Are you a notebook guy? Are you an Excel guy? How do you do it? Neil Walker, by the way, struck out his first time up. One of the six on the dance card for Mr. Scherzer. In the center, back goes Taylor. Long gone. There goes the no-hitter, and there goes the shutout. Neil Walker... Blast that one into the batter's eye, and it's one nothing New York. Where's the Where's Gardner for that? Hmm, hmm. He's the one that roots for the Mets. Scherzer, the king of the solo home run. He just left that one over the plate, and Walker put that one up where you get the cheap beers. So one nothing Mets. Here's Reyes, it, who walked his first time up. Scherzer, got him. Swung on and fouled in the mitt of Weeders on the 95 mile hour fastball, and there's one out. Seven for Max. Darno struck out his first time up. And he'll go down again. 0 2 cutter on the inside corner at 92, and that's eight for, DeGr for Max. 
uh, super advanced strat, I believe, Robbie, is what he used. Just in case he's in and out. DeGrom is 0 for 1. And Scherzer has whiffed 8. See if we can get... We've had a good morning and a good afternoon. Notebook. Okay, nice. I'm going to try to use game 162 game totals for both. Since game 163, which he played was not a possibility. Cool. Pitch to DeGrom. There's a ground ball to third. Rendon across the way to Zimmerman. And that will retire the side. But the Mets get the solo shot from Neil Walker and are on the board first. Halfway home here in this birthday special. One, nothing Mets. We'll be back right after this. Well, I can tell you that Janet Keeler would be quite happy about that. About how this has gone. Ricky might not be so happy, but his mom will be. You know, Walker, a uh, solo shot in the fifth that cleared everything in center. Is the long run of the ball game. The Mets lead one nothing. And if you like pitching, you got it. DeGrom, a two-hitter through four. He's walked two and struck out two. Scherzer... Just the one hit. Five innings. The solo shot. He has walked two and struck out eight. And that is how we got here. Robbie will use replay baseball to score it. What season are you going to do, Robbie? Or obviously one of those Ranger teams. You're a big Ranger fan. Matt Wieters is not a Texas Ranger fan. He struck out his first time up. DeGrom's pitch is a ground ball to Walker over to first, and there is an out. Max Scherzer is one of those guys that would throw out his mother if she dug in the plate. He just is such a competitor. And he and David Bowie had the chromatic eyes. They're different colors, and I think the right eye, the red, the left eye is green, and the right is blue, and I think green should be the color. He got hit in the eye as a kid, and it changed the color of it, and it never went back. I believe that's the story. So Robbie's thinking seventy-nine, eleven, or eighteen. The seasons, I believe, were only six dollars, unless you're getting it printed. And what PC replay seasons you have, too. 11, I think you'd like to do. Since that's the World Series year. Pitch to Scherzer is a ground ball to third. Reyes across the way, and that's an out. So, two out for Turner. Trey Turner overdrive is 0 for 2. He has struck out, reached on an error, and stole the base. DeGrom, 83 pitches through 18 batters. Four and two-thirds innings, two hits, two walks, and two strikeouts. Mets one, that's nothing. Bottom of the fifth. Got him! He fastball swung on and missed at 95, and that will retire the side. We go to the sixth, it's still one, nothing Mets. Ballpark here is playing kind of small. Lefties plus five in the batting average. Righties plus 13, although we've only had three hits th combined through five. Lefties at line and right, minus nine for the home runs. That porch and left in the visiting bull and the Mat Nats bullpen is pretty forgiving. It's plus 13. Yes, you're right. It is Gatorade. How did you guess? 
too late for coffee or iced tea. It is 8.30 here in the East. Conforto is 0 for 1 with a walk. Scherzer threw 18 batters, 65 pitches, 5 innings. They hit the solo shot to Walker. He's walked 2 and struck out 8. Conforto pops it up. Readers takes off the mask into foul territory up against the screen and makes a good play. One out. As Dribble Cabrera is 0 for 2. I think as far as a radio crew, yep, well, yeah, you get Gatorade, water, or soda. Apparently I didn't have any ginger ales in the fridge, and I had water earlier. So Gatorade was the winner. It's always a blast listening on the radio to the Nationals. Could sync the audio to the video on MLB TV. Charlie Slows and Dave Jagler. Just a great crew. And you knew that Washington is a company town when the official White House gift shop was one of the sponsors. And when I started with them, they were giving away Christmas tree or selling Christmas tree ornaments, and it was for Herbert Hoover. Pitch to Cabrera is a liner to center. Taylor is there. Two out. For Cespedes is 0 for 2. I don't think Scherzer will go the distance here. Might go eight, though. Pitch to Cespedes. Here's a fly ball to left. Kendrick is there, and that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. <laughs> we go to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Mets one, the Nationals nothing. On the Steam Fitters Union Nationals Radio Network. Jamie says Hoover was the greatest president ever, according to Ted Williams. Okay, Ted. Whatever you say. Don't lose your head over that one. Howie Kendrick is 0 for 1 with a log. In the center field, Conforto won't get it. Kendrick's on with a single. Conforto dove for it, couldn't get there, and Kendrick... Has his first hit and only the third hit of the ball game for the Nats. Again, that was one of those deals made by Mike Rizzo. Talking about picking up garbage out of the dump and turning it into treasure. That was one of those moves. Here's Harper. He's 0 for 2. DeGrom's pitch into right. Bruce will make the catch for the out. One away. For Rendon, is 0 for 2. So Kendrick will steal here. Jamie, I covered this team for fan-sided with my good buddy Ricky Keeler. We had so much fun doing that. Kendrick goes to throw down. It will be not in time. And Kendrick will get the steal. As Denard has a... Or Darno has a... Ramen noodle arm back there. Rendon is 0 for 2. Wish Al was here. I know that a lot of other people are streaming the night before Thanksgiving. We would do a post-game show live on YouTube every night after a game. You try to get people to, to read our stuff. Al was a regular watcher. Well, that's why I'm doing it. I, I love this team. This team was so much fun to cover. Pitch to Rendon. There's a liner in the left field. It's going to drop for a base hit. Rendon, they call him Tony Two Bags for a reason. He's in there with a double. And the Nationals have tied the game at one. There you go. Not a kaboom, but the game is tied. Now bring up Daniel, my butt hurts Murphy. It was one for two. Ah, two years ago, first time I saw one of Al's videos, and let me dis discover mine and a lot of others. Al is so entertaining. Tony Two Bag sounds like a mafioso name. They stole hearts here in D.C. Never heard a bad thing about. Rendon. Ever, ever, ever. 
Pitch to Murph, ball four. So now you get Zimmerman. But first we're going to get a pitching change. Kind of. I will get into that in a moment. Eric Goodell will come in for the Mets. We got a pitching change. This game is coming to you from Nationals Park in our nation's capital. Goodell, 33 games, 29 innings. He went 0-1 with a 5-2-8 ERA. He allowed 28 hits, 17 runs, all earned, 8 homers. <laughs> and he, uh, a whip of 1 3 4 5 and an average of 257. He's 28. He's a righty. He is an extreme fly ball pitcher, and the fastball tops out at 94. Zimmerman could get white hot and ice cold. Got one double and a walk. He's one for one, and with runners on first and second one out, we could get a kaboomer here really quick. Here's the pitch. Gets away from Darno, and everybody's going to move up 90. So that is a wild pitch. And that brings up a 2-0 count to Zimmerman. No, I knew how I did a game on my self-titled channel five years ago, Robbie. Five years ago. So before I started with Fansided, I did the 1958 NFL Championship game, greatest game ever played, using second and ten. And so it's one of the few times I ever wore glasses on stream. I'm, I'm supposed to wear them. I don't need them looking at the computer. And they reflect an awful lot too, so... And so one of my first commenters was Al Red Sox fan. And that's how I got to know him. Pitch to Zim. Struck him out. 2-2 two -two on the outside half at 96 and two out from Mr. Taylor. So we're tied at one. Rendon on third. Murph on second. Two out. Goodell trying to slam the door here and keep this a 1-1 game. Pitch to Michael A. Uh, swung on and missed. On a 1-2. The Nats will strand two. They tie the ball game and get two hits. And leave two on. We go to the seventh. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. Jay Bruce is 0 for 2. He struck out once. Lucas Duda and Neil Walker, who homered in the fifth. The bat here in the seventh. Goodell, by the way, in the nine hole. It was not a double switch. Pitch to Bruce is in the right. Harper, one out. Here's Lucas. Mr. Duda is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Scherzer's only allowed the one hit. Hit him. Ooh. So Duda gets Neil in the leg with a 94 mile hour fastball and Scherzer storms around the mound. And that'll bring up Neil Walker who homered his last time up. Scherzer hits him. The benches will clear. Now 97 degrees here in the nation's capital. Free ice cream for everybody on this 4th of July. The wind blowing in from 11 from left center. And if you want to know how it feels inside your mouth, well, that's the temp. In the right, Harper will make the catch along the corner and Duda retreats back to first. Pine Tar's a fun game for what Al does. He did, what, all-time Yankees and all-time Red Sox? Here's Reyes. He is walked and struck out. He's 0 for 1. In the center, Taylor and that will retire the side. Stretch time, 1-1. One, one.
How you doing, DJ John? Nice to have you along on this Thanksgiving Eve. We'll do a football game tomorrow night, 5 Eastern, too, or 5 Pacific. Red Sox and Yankees, and I bet not. Lots of great hitters on both those teams. Weeders is 0 for 2. He struck out. Nats have left 6 on the Mets 3. So tomorrow night our football game will be the 93 matchup between the Dolphins and the Cowboys in our second annual Thanksgiving night game. Did the 62 Packers and Lions last year. So 8 Eastern, 7 Central, 5 Pacific. Pitch to Weeders, ball four. So Scherzer, oof. Now, logic says I should pinch hit for him. Leon, yep, the Leon Lecke game. Scherzer's going to blunt. Drops one down. Duda picks it up. He throws to first. Walker covering, and it goes four or three, four on the card. Fernando Salas, the palindrome, comes in the pitch. My pleasure. Second annual Digital Dice Black Friday sale. Salas, one and two in 17. With an ERA of six. 45 innings, 60 hits. Seven homers allowed. He walked 20 and struck out 47. Salas is 32. Ground ball plus pitcher in the fastball. Tops out at 92. Brings up Trey Turner, who's 0 for 3. He has struck out twice, reached on an error, and stole a base. So one out, bottom of the seventh, and a 1-1 tie. Salas deals, struck him out. Oh, Trey. He swung on and missed on an 84-mile-an-hour junk pitch. And that brings up Kendrick. Howie, one for two. Walked, scored, and stole a base. He scored the tying run in the sixth. Yep, we're almost on the eve of spend your hard-earned money on more games day. Well, I'll spend my wife's money for my birthday. Oh, you meant just in general or whatever, so. So come in tomorrow after your whatever you're making for dinner. It's just the two of us this year, so we're doing Cornish game hens, stuffing, potatoes. We'll put some vegetables in the stuffing. And homemade apple turnovers is what she's going to do. Pitch to Kendrick. Struck him out. So Salas got out of it. Howie swung on and missed. And that will retire the side. No runs, no hits, no errors. How you doing, Mr. Clinton Parks? After 7-1-1. So, 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 keep your pacemaker in check here, Clinton. I haven't pulled my starter, and it's the eighth inning of a modern game. Darno is 0 for 2. He has struck out twice. Darno, a pinch hitter, and Conforto for the Mets here in the eighth. Clinton bought some golf. What'd you get for golf? Action PC, you're a big fan of the, the Golf Club series, too, which is not a card and dice game, or a sim. Pitch to Darno is a fly ball to right center. Taylor will make the catch one out. One out, and I'm sure Salas will be pinch hit four, and it'll be Matt Reynolds. Game in it with a pickoff. Cool. What'd you play? Reynolds. 230 with the Mets, a homer, and 5 RBI. Also played for the D-backs. One out, top the eighth. Got him! He got him on a 1-2 off-speed pitch on the outside corner, and that's 9. So 27 batters deep for Scherzer. 98 pitches, 7 and 2 thirds innings. The one hit was a Neil Walker homer in the fifth. He walked two and struck out nine. Conforto over two, a walk and a strikeout. Oh, action PC. Okay. Course is on sale right now for the holiday season.
Oh, 80 Giants and Reds. NPNG, the walk-off pickoff. And Colton Wong can relate to that. And I'd feel sorry for Colton, except for it was a Red Sox game. Sarah knows what I spend my money on. Fukudome is not a swear word. Tribe fan wants to play a game with a walk-off hit by pitch. Oh, that's the Homer Simpson softball game. Have seen that in person. Kosuke Fukudome for the Indians against the Tigers. I had a game. I got to find it. I was doing a Red Sox replay, and they lost on a walk-off, bases-loaded hit by pitch. Conforto, ball four. So Juan Lagares will pinch run. Lagares is good speed, a seven base runner. Cabrera, 0 for 3, struck out. Two out, top the eighth. Walk off triple play in NP3. That's cool. That's intense. Was that part of your 65 replay? Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball to right. Harper will come in. He'll make the catch, and that will retire the side. Josh, Ed Josh Edgen coming in to pitch for the Mets. We go to the bottom of the eighth, 1 1. Cool. Uh, the walk-off safety, I think, is the worst. I at least had seen a walk-off hit by pitch. Edge in a lefty, 46 games, 0-1 with a save and an ERA of 365. 37 innings, 39 hits, 16 runs, 15 earned. He walked 18 and struck out 27. Ground ball pitcher, 30 years old, fastball... Is at 91. Tribe fan says Eric Bruntland of the Phillies did that in 2003. Harper, Rendon, and Murph from the Nats here in the eighth. Cespedes, Bruce, and Duda coming up for the Mets, and we'll see about how long Mr. Scherzer will go. Harper into right. Back goes Bruce. Kaboom! Or he turned and watched it go. But when I did these games on Twitter, kaboom, Harper, 2-1, Washington. Dusty rearranges the toothpick on the other side of his mouth. And that'll bring up Tony Two Bags. Anthony, one for three. He had 41 doubles in 17. And drove in the run in the sixth. So the Nats go up. Scherzer stands to win it. Edgen. How rude. I like that. Pitch to Rendon is a base hit left center field. Cespedes will pick it up. Rendon will hold with a single. Nobody out for Murph, who's one for two. Boom goes the ball. Yep. But that was the tagline because we would live tweet these games. So on the home run, on a Nationals home run, it would be kaboom. And they had Carter and Spencer kaboom, and I never got the chance to do a kaboom for kaboom. I don't know why I did kaboom. Yep, cardiac baseball for sure. Throw to first, Rendon is back. Now, what do you do here? Oh, Bruntlett, 2009 for a walk-off on a sister triple. I watched that the other day, as a matter of fact. There's some great highlight films there. There goes Rendon to throw down to Cabrera, and Anthony has it swiped. So three stolen bases off the rubber-armed Arno, And so Murph, with a 1-0 count, is one for two. Ground ball up the middle. Cabrera over to Duda for the out. Does Rendon hold or go to third? He'll go to third. One out. Mets infield playing back for Ryan Zimmerman. One for two. A double, a walk, and a strikeout. I remember that spring, and of course spring training stats mean nothing. It's kind of like betting on the Pro Bowl. But he 
he just could not hit. I think he went 0 for 13. And so I wrote a rather stinging article, or stinking article, getting on him, you know, his launch angle was terrible, which it was, just wasn't seeing the ball very well, and like, you know, the Nats are going to ever meet expectations. They need something big out of Ryan Zimmerman. Well, starting the next day, he hit 500 the rest of the spring. He slumped again in May or so. And so, again, I gently kind of got on him. And, I, you know, if I was the inspiration for Ryan, so be it. But I think it's kind of funny. Again, he just had such a great year. In 17. Pitch to Zim is a fly ball left center. Lagares is a 9 and 9 out there. He'll get it. Rendon will tag and will try and score. Gonna run on Lagares to throw to the plate. They got him, but oh, we're gonna reverse it here. I forgot. We're playing a modern season. So it looked close. And so Al Red Sox fan dons the headset. 30% chance here. They challenge. It's under review. And the ruling on the field stands. And that will be the side. So, no runs. One hit, no errors. We go to the ninth. Cespedes, Bruce, and Duda right now for Scherzer. Scherzer says, leave me in. Leave me in. Dusty says, okay. I'll give you a base runner. Give you a cookie. Give you a base runner. So Scherzer's throwing a one-hitter. He has walked three and struck out nine. Yep. There you go. How you doing, Seth? I did. We did Dodcast after every game. After every game, we did Dodcast. There was one, and I won't tell you who I did it with. It wasn't Ricky or Drew. But other people who'd wanted to do them go on camera for this. Other people who wanted to do, okay, you can go ahead and do the dead cast. And so talking to, you know, made the, sent the link in the top of the night. I think it was a home. Doesn't matter. Just before the end of the ball game. And he's in a suit and tie. Like, oh, that's great. You, you can dress professional for this. I might have been in a t-shirt. I don't know what the heck I was wearing. It was a night game. I remember that. So get going, and I realize as we're going through the game that the guy I'm doing the show with hadn't watched it. Why did the show? How did I know he didn't watch it? He was at a wedding reception. Thankfully, it wasn't his, but he was at a wedding reception, and he went in by the hotel elevators. You could hear the wedding music going on in the background. He's got the flower and the, the lapel and all that. How you doing, Seth? Cespedes is 0 for 3. Scherzer has struck out 9 through 8. He starts the ninth with a base hit right field, and Dusty says that's it. Norichka Aoki to pinch run. And Aoki has good speed. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope you are well. If you can find it. So. Save situation and Sean Doolittle. Will 2 to do it. He came from Oakland. Trade deadline deal. Again, Mike Rizzo. Just would, just would get the best with the Nationals. He went one and all with 21 saves and an ERA of 2.40, 30 innings, 22 hits, two homers. He walked eight and struck out 31. 31 years old, a fastball pitcher at 93, and a ground ball plus pitcher. A WHIP of one, and an average allowed of 2.04, and was just the tonic the Nats needed. After the first half of that season. All right. Well, we're doing a football game tomorrow night. So. Let me know. 
if you find it. Aoki is back. So nobody out. It'll be Bruce, Duda, and Walker to face Doolittle. From the stretch, base hit, left field. Aoki will stop at second, so the tying run is on scoring position, and the go-ahead run is on first for Duda, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Wilmer Flores will pinch it. Wilmer's claim to fame was that they, he thought he was traded in the middle of a game. Spent his entire career with the Mets. Clinton posted the game in the score sheets and Tabletop Baseball Plus. His walk-off, pit by pitch. Or trip, yeah, pit by pitch. And Flores ended up not getting traded. The trade fell through with the Brewers. Wilmer, 271, 18 homers and 52 RBI. If the Nats bat in the ninth, it will be Taylor Weeders and a pinch hitter. Pitch from Doolittle. Ground ball to Rendon. Murph for one. Over to Zimmerman for two. The walk-off pickoff. Okay. So here's Neil Walker. He hit the solo shot in the fifth. That was the only Mets run. Seth the Immaculate one struck out nine. So Walker one for three. Bryce Harper with a kaboom. Don't do those in my normal games, but Harper with a kaboom. Yeah, Weeders was so underwhelmed. <laughs> yep. Yeah, in Washington, yep. So here we go. Two out, tying run on third. Pitch to Walker. Struck him out, the Nats win. A curly W goes in the books. He swung on and missed a 93-mile-an-hour fastball. The Mets threaten but do not score. No runs, two hits, no errors. And on this 4th of July, 2017, 97 degrees, the Nets win 2-1. to one. And so to steal a phrase from my favorite Bob Murphy, a happy recap here for the Nets. Mitz, solo shot from Walker in the fifth made it one nothing. but Rendon, a double to score Howie Kendrick in the eighth, or sixth rather, and then Bryce Harper, a solo shot in the eighth to go ahead 2-1. to one. So Max Scherzer gets the win, eight innings, two hits, a run it was earned, the solo shot to Walker, he walked three and struck out nine. 108 pitches. This was not the real 4th of July game. It's my wife's birthday, the 4th. Or was it really? I just picked the Mets because I wanted the Nats to win. <laughs> 77 strikes and 31 balls. Face 30 batters. Doolittle gets the save. One inning, one out. You know what? It might have actually been against the Mets. He struck out a batter, 13 pitches, 6 strikes, and 7 balls. That's not very good. But it's a save nonetheless. For the Mets, DeGrom gets the start, 5 and a third innings, 4 hits. A run, it was earned. He walked 3 and struck out 3. Goodell and Salas, Yeoman's work out of the pen. Edgen, the poor guy, gives up the leadoff homer to Bryce Harper. And so that'll do it. They did, and I think it might have been that year because I had because it was supposed to be my wife's birthday meal with my mother. So I had to do the game at 11, get off work, and then go home, or then go out and have a meal with my wife. Hey, so I hope you all have a wonderful and safe and happy Thanksgiving. For some of us, it's a birthday tomorrow. But we'll have football tomorrow night. But I wanted to spend the last couple days. Thank you, Robbie. Uh, last couple days playing teams that I liked. Thank you, John. And so tomorrow we'll do some football. We'll replay the Leon Lett game, part D, the 93 Dolphins and Cowboys from Texas Stadium. And then we'll do something kind of fun on Friday live at noon Eastern here on Twitch. Be safe, be happy, be healthy. 
and we'll talk to you tomorrow night at 8 Eastern, 5 Pacific. Until then, I'm Ron Juckett. Talk to you soon. Thanks, everybody. Have yourself a wonderful holiday tomorrow. Good night.